So I'm going for a uh, very high moisture content, uh, 48%. And again, using filtered water for the steep because that's the water that's being absorbed by the grain. And uh, it's about 15 degrees out here, which is a little bit warmer than I normally like. I like to be around 10 to 15 degrees, somewhere in between there for steeping. So I'm doing an aerated steep. I'm gonna give it a eight hour soak and then let it rest for 12 hours and then uh, do another eight hour soak until I get that 48%. So. Okay, that's steep number two. So in some of the historical texts, um, it's mentioned that you can tell when your grain has been steeped enough when you can crush it between, well, crush it end to end between two fingers and it gives all the way and basically bends in half. And uh, that's what I can do right now. And interestingly, I just, weighed it all out and it's at 42 percent and i find this is actually a pretty good uh test to find out if your grain is at 42 percent moisture oops you can tell when it's not um because the ends may crush a little bit but the center remains solid um as soon as you can actually squish it completely then it's ready to go okay so my target was 48 percent uh which means my target steep weight would have been 16 pounds and 14.4 ounces uh, i just weighed it now after the third steep of six hours and i've got 16 pounds and 8.4 ounces which puts my moisture content at 46.75 percent uh, which is not quite 48, but it's close enough and it's still a pretty high moisture content So I'm just gonna leave it at that and start to germinate So uh, Unfortunately the seed barley that I got had a really bad germination rate uh, It was about 70% or between 65 and 70% actually so um, what I've done is I've switched it out. Um, I'm now using the Skagit Valley barley that was given to me by the folks at Skagit Valley Malting. And uh, I can safely say that this barley has a germination rate of 92%. Uh, big difference here. Um, yeah, I've used feed barley in the past and I've gotten about an 80% germination rate, which is okay. But anything less than that, you know, you're just going to notice the difference probably in the finished product and in the beer. What happens is that other 30% of the kernels that don't germinate tend to go a little moldy. They can uh, go, you know, musty or they just go bad. So um, I've done everything the same. Um, this is now at 46%, so high moisture content. And uh, it took one more soaking or one more steep, so four steeps in total to get to that point, whereas the feed barley just took three steeps. Okay, so this is looking nice and wilted. The roots are all shriveled up and really thin. So I'm gonna put it in the cooler. Okay, here's something interesting. Um, I just weighed it all out. I let it wilt for 28 hours. Right now, it's got a moisture content of 27.5%. So it's dropped quite a bit. I was surprised at how much it's dropped. I just had it on the screens uh, about an inch thick. Um, I know they wouldn't have had screens back in the day. It would have been on the floor. Um, so it probably wouldn't have been as dry as fast. I think the screens allowed a lot of the air to flow through. And so probably dried out a little more than it had to. I put it in here. I'm just going to pack it down a little bit. And I'm going to put some towels on top. You don't want to close this off because when you close it off, 
I find things just stop heating up. It needs a little bit of oxygen, but it needs some insulation on top. So what I'm going to do is just throw a bunch of tea towels, probably like four tea towels on top here. And then I'm going to leave a little space in the center where I can stick the thermometer. I can get a good read. I'll put a couple more on top there. Okay, so right now uh, we're reading 23 degrees, which is uh, already pretty warm. We, we've had a couple of warm days, actually, past couple of days, so that might have been a factor in um, how low the uh, moisture level is right now, how dry it got. Okay, so it was sitting at 49, and I actually just moved the thermometer up a little bit. I think it was quite close to the bottom. So now it's more around the middle of the pile, and as you can see, it just shot up to 51 degrees. So I'm thinking, you know, because it was at 49 degrees at the bottom of the pile since 2 o'clock this morning, I think around the middle of the pile or a little up higher, it was at 50. Okay, so it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, the temperature has, well, it just started to drop now within the past two hours or so. Um, two hours ago, it was at 50. So a little earlier this morning, it was at 51. So that's sort of 14 hours at this temperature range and now it's starting to drop. So that's, that's great actually. That's uh, pretty close to the t what the textbook says. Uh, now I've started out with a warmer temperature. I uh, started out at 21 degrees, uh, which is a lot warmer than I've started in the past. Uh, when I've done it before, I started at 15 degrees and, well, it took a whole day to get from 15 up to like 25. Um, so that added a whole day to the whole process. So far, this has been 48 hours now. Yeah, 48 hours um, that it's been in the cooler. So, two days. Okay, gonna try to do the same hot couch method only I'm not going to let the mold wilt I'm going to put it in the cooler as soon as it modifies so starting out with 10 pounds again just to be consistent with the other batch so what I'm trying to find out is whether I can reach the same temperatures during the hot couch if I don't wilt it and if that will affect the color. I'm expecting to get more color if I can reach those temperatures and maintain that temperature for about 16 hours. I'm at 14 pounds and 10.6 ounces. This isn't all of it, this is just what can fit on my scale. So that puts me at a 40% moisture content. The previous batch at uh, this stage, after wilting, was at 27.5% uh, moisture content. So, not a huge difference. Uh, we're talking about 12.5% here, but uh, we'll see if it makes a difference. All right, it's been 15 hours, and the temperature is at 47, and it's still climbing. I think the reason I wasn't getting these temperatures before when I was doing this hot couch directly after germination was because uh, I was doing five pound batches. Uh, they were too small. Um, I'm thinking because I'm using 10 pound batches, that's why I'm getting this uh, temperature increase happening so fast. Okay. So the temperature is at 50.7 degrees Celsius. So just in the past hour, it started to drop. It got up to 50.9 was its highest. I'm at the 25 hour mark, which is great. I think 
if it drops slowly enough, it'll stay within this range for, I think, at least another uh, five or six hours. And uh, I'm just going to leave it till tomorrow morning, which will be like a little over 36 hours in total. And then I'll take it out from there and start to dry it. All right, it's been 39 hours in total in the cooler and the temperature has dropped to just below 45 degrees it's at 44.8 so i'm going to take it out and start to dry it i'm going to dry it to around 20 percent at about 45 50 degrees and then i'm going to raise the temperature up to like 60 or 65. all right let's see what we got here Sort of smells like apples right now. A little bit of caramel, sort of a sweetness. Still nice and warm. So I'm leaving uh, just these two vents open a little bit. So not a lot of ventilation. Um, I have to go to work, so I'm hoping that this is going to sort of slowly dry over the next 12 hours or so. All right, I'm at 12 hours, and I just weighed all the malt. It's at 23%, so I've uh, turned the fan off, and I've bumped up the temperature to 65 degrees Celsius, and that's the temperature directly under the kiln bed. The temperature of the malt right now is at 40, but it's sort of steadily creeping up here. Look at how dark that is. Okay, here's the difference that 13% uh, moisture content makes. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same with these two and we've got this huge color difference now that's because the enzymes uh, need the moisture to actually work and to break down the proteins within the grain if there's not as much moisture they're not as effective 